friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa String Works Workshop. We're here today to talk about something uh, entirely different than musical instruments. And of course I'm wearing my t-shirt that was provided by a wonderful viewer overseas. For those of you tuning in about the subject we're talking about today, you may not know what a luthier is, and that's someone who builds and repairs musical instruments. I have over 400 videos out on YouTube on building and repairing musical instruments, so please check that out if this is your first time here. Yeah, we're here today to talk about rural internet service and what the best bang is for your buck. I've been through a bunch of them and I thought I would talk about my evolution through the different services so that you don't make those same mistakes and can go right to the best one, or at least the best one that I've ever found. Some people say, we're not in the boonies, but you can see it from here. Well, I think we actually are in the boonies where we are. <laughs> Our uh, nearest neighbor is about a mile away as the crow flies, so that'll give you some idea. And we're down in a really deep valley, so, you know, it's a couple of hundred feet uh, up to the tops of the hills around here. So, you know, you'd have to have a very tall antenna to do you any good. All right, so with all that said, how can you get internet service in a place like this? The first logical option would be satellite internet service. Now that's a good option for some people, but for me personally who needs to use a lot of upload speed because I'm uploading videos, that's a really bad option. Their upload speed is terrible. At least it used to be less than one megabyte per second. So that's really slow. I mean, if you're at 500K per second going up, uh, it takes you forever to upload a video. So satellite service, and I tried several of them. I didn't try Hughes, I don't think, uh, but I did try several different inter uh, satellite internet services and none of them were any good. Then we were notified that extended DSL service, which is through your phone line, uh, works out in this area. So I, I was literally first in line. I mean, I the moment I heard about it, I somebody called me, I think, and I actually drove to the phone company and said, I want this now, you know. And the reason I did that was because I also heard it was going to be very limited on the number of people that could have it. So I wanted to be first in line, and sure enough, I was. <laughs> so I was able to get that. And the problem with that was, for me, we are really far out in the boonies, as I said, and the phone lines deteriorate really badly out here. We have a ton of static on the phone lines, and they worked and they worked and they worked to try to clear that static. You know, you got watered down DSL is what you've really got on a static E line. Yes, it was definitely better than satellite, even in that way, but it still wasn't very good and it still took hours and hours of upload time to upload videos. Well, then my next evolution was I heard about Wave Internet Service. Now, Wave is a local company, I think. I don't think they're everywhere, but it's basically a radio uh, frequency uh, antenna service, and I already told you we can't get an antenna. Well, in this case, I went to Super Extremes. I bought a tower. <laughs> And I, I spent about a thousand bucks on all the stuff just to get it for the internet service. And I put up a 65 foot tall tower up on top of one of my hills. And they, from Rolla, Missouri, which is about, oh, as the crow flies, about 12 or 15 miles, something like that, uh, they beamed the, the radio signal to my tower. And then my tower beams it down to a signal down here in my valley. That actually worked pretty good, but kind of expensive, right about $100 a month. And it was only maybe two or three times as good as the, as the watered down DSL. So, I mean, it still was pretty good, but, you know, it was still taking me a long time on some uploads. On some uploads, it would still take me several hours. This is the one you've been waiting for. I did some more research and I found out about cell tower internet service. That may be obvious to a lot of you, but it wasn't too obvious to me. First of all, we don't have very good cell service here at the farm because of the deep valley that we're in. In certain places you get on the farm, you've got pretty decent cell service, but in our house, no good at all. Even here in the shop, no good at all. So you think, well, then how could that help you? Well, I thought I put up a big tower up there on the hill for uh, the wave internet service, 
So why couldn't I do something like that down here to improve my cellular service? And so that's basically what I did. The cellular internet provider that I went with was 4G Internet Service. So you can look them up. Um, there are other providers out there. Let me tell you a little bit about their uh, service and then we'll go out and take a look at actually how I set this all up. <clears throat> I'm no expert on their particular business or anything, but they uh, you know, act as kind of like a middleman between the cell companies and the end user. And they provide you a cellular modem that will take the signal from the cell tower and convert it through your router or whatever. Actually, their modem is a router as well. Mine's much more complicated than that, as you'll see here. Yours may just be that simple. You may just get the modem and router from them, put it in your window, bingo, you're ready to go. It can be that simple if you've got at least a decent cell signal. And I would say decent meaning like a couple of bars or two or three bars. Here, you know, you're lucky to get one bar to two bars. So if, you, if on a good day, you'll get that. So I knew I was going to have issues. So now I'll take you outside and show you how I solved my internet service problems. For my regular viewers, I'll just give you a perspective of where we're at. There's the front door to the shop. And here's the metal shop at this end here. And up on top here, the pole. Now you can see my cell antenna. And you see the two different Yagi antennas up there. Both of those antennas can go into the router provided by the 4G antenna company. However, I have them working differently than that, and I'll show you that in a minute. But that's how you would normally do it. You could either put one of those antennas or two of those antennas and go right into the router and you'd probably be fine. I have it up there very high, as you can see, so that it gets the best cell reception. In other words, if your cell phone was up there, you'd get a halfway decent signal. Not a great signal, but a halfway decent signal. Now I'll show you why I put this in the place where it's at and, and here in just a minute, but just behind those flowers, there's a window. I have two routers in that window. One of them is the cell company router, and the other one is a big router that sends the signal from here all the way up to my house up there. Now the reason I don't have all this up there at the house is because the house is in a deep valley. There's, it's, it's in a side valley that goes this way. And the signals up there is even worse. Now we'll go inside here and I'll show you how all that stuff is configured inside. Okay, this is bad photography because of the backlighting, but I wanted to come over here and point out what's going on. This uh, router here in the modem comes from the 4G antenna service company. And for the most part, this is all you really need. And it, I could get by with this to some degree. But I need more than that to get the signal up to my house. Normally, you would have two little antennas like this sitting on here. So there'd be another antenna right here. And you just put this in your window or wherever you get the best cell signal and then that's what you're done you know you're pretty much finished you, you just plug it in and, and it's good to go it's a very simple service to use as these services go I know because I've used a lot of them so this one's an easy one to use okay so mine worked sort of that way but and I could then beam the signal to this router and go but I needed to improve my cell reception from the cell tower so what I did was, here's the two wires coming from those two Yagi antennas. I ran one of them into one side of this, so that helps a lot. Then I also had to have a regular, you know, air antenna, if you will, right here. And, and then I have another little signal booster right here. So the other Yagi antenna goes into this signal booster, and then this, you know, sends out the cell signal again, which is picked up by this antenna. Once I configured it like this, everything changed. I mean, I really started getting good service, good cell reception, everything. So bottom line is I have a cell booster here. This one's called a Z-Boost. And I don't even know if they make this one. This is an older one. I, I think it's called Wee Boost now, maybe. I don't really know. But anyway, you can buy cell uh, signal improvers 
you know, on the internet. Then I have a cable going from this router up to my big router up here. Now the big router sends the signal in a lot of places and it's much more powerful even than this router. And I, I bought a, you know, one of the cat's meow type routers here. This is a high-end one. Cost a lot of money, but it sends the signal up to the house where I have yet another router and that router sends the signal throughout the house. And believe it or not, I actually have another router beyond that because the house is so big. You know, I actually have four routers. So you got this one, this one, and two up at the house to get my internet service working here on the farm. The speed is actually pretty good. Hopefully that makes sense to you on how this all works. Now we'll go in and actually do a speed test. Okay, so let's do a speed test to see how quick this internet service is. You know, it's not like a cable internet service that gets 100 megabits or anything like that, but it's pretty darn good for out in the country. All right, the ping is 70 milliseconds, which is pretty good. And at the moment, it's around 15 or 16 megabytes per second, 17 now, 18 now. So that's 18.58 megabytes on the download, which is, you know, pretty darn good. On the upload is what's pretty impressive to me. Uh, it's at right at 9 now, 9 megabits on the upload. So it went to 9.15. Sometimes I get better than that. That's about average of what I get. Sometimes I get as much, almost as much as I do on the download. So it may, there may be higher traffic right now or something. I don't know. But at the moment, I mean, even that's really, really good compared to satellite. Satellite wouldn't even be a tenth of that. It's at least 10 times faster than satellite on the upload. At least 10 times faster. And probably more like 20 times faster in reality. So that's a huge difference. So then what does this service cost me? Well, I, they don't give it away, but $85 a month, which to me is reasonable to get pretty darn good service. Yeah, I know that's quite a bit of money for some people, but uh, it's... It's reasonable for me because of my business, for one thing. So I have to do a lot of communicating on the Internet, and that really helps, you know, to have a good Internet service that you can depend on. And that is another point. It's very dependable. In the two or three years now, I guess I've had it uh, two, at least two years, probably three years, and I don't recall it ever going down or anything or having any real problems. They're really good to work with, too, by the way. Haven't had any problems, so... You know, they're not sponsoring this video or anything. They don't have a clue I'm making the video, but the 4G antenna service people are good to work with. Uh, I've had, I've got nothing but good things to say about them. $85 a month for me is, is a steal for this kind of service. Well, I hope that uh, helps you out in your quest for better internet service. And while you're here, take a look at some of my other videos on building and repairing musical instruments. And if you don't mind, click that subscribe button. Thank you. Thank you.